I've always been interested in positive psychology in high school. I was fascinated with Anthony Robbins, and it was this is something I've always wanted to do, not to really help other people, help them to be the best that they can be. Here are some tools that they can put into practice and improve their lives almost immediately, and that's what I wanted to teach. So what I'm gonna do with you today is teach you some techniques and skills and things you can do every day to increase your happiness level. Kindness is a happiness booster. It boosts your happiness level and it boosts the level of the person the act is done to. And even better is everyone who sees an act of kindness is then more likely to do an act of kindness somewhere else down the road. I like to combine teaching and talking in the science with actually trying these things out so that they can go home, they've already tried it once and felt the difference it makes and then go home and make it become a ritual, make it become a habit so it's something that they do every day. I learned like all these different poses that can make me feel confident and happy, all these breathing techniques that like if I am feeling down then I can like revive myself and get a chance to actually be happy and it just taught me a little more on like what happiness really is more than just saying you're happy when you're, there's more to it. Before you go to bed, you know, think about three things that were good that happened to you. So I thought that was a good thing that someone could take out of that to, you know, think about more of the positives in life and don't dwell on the negatives. Every day, maybe at dinner time or maybe when you're just about ready to go to bed, you go through your day and you list three good things that happen during that day. This is a science-based, it's evidence-based that this, these techniques work. And there's a science to it, so there's a methodology that goes with it and it's something that is readily usable by someone who sees the presentation, they can immediately put these techniques to use. It was more about being positive and being happy in life because I felt like most people in the world nowadays are not really that happy. So with this presentation, taking it away from it, when I, when I saw it, I feel like I can empower myself by doing more. If you look for the good, the more good you will see. So if you look for good things that are happening during the day, the more good things you'll notice are happening. So when we appreciate the good, the good appreciates. Schools tend to oftentimes bring in speakers that are talking about alcoholism or drug addiction or eating disorders, and those are very important. And I think it's important to include positive psychology, what's working, what's going well, and to try to focus on those things because a lot of good things are happening and we need to focus on those more so that they increase. Like the science says, if you focus on the good, the good appreciates. And that's something that we need to do more, give students the skills they need to feel good about themselves and to not even go the route of alcohol and drugs because they don't need it because they're already filled up inside. Mm -hmm.